I'm here with Coastal Entrepreneur Award winners Brendan and Rick from Cape Fear Rainwater Harvesting, the winner of the Emerging Business category. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Rick, tell me a little bit about Cape Fear Rainwater Harvesting. Cape Fear Rainwater Harvesting was created to address one of the most emerging needs that we see in the 21st century, not only in coastal North Carolina, nationally and globally. Mm -hmm. That is utilizing an alternative water source. Now, Brendan, how does Cape Fear Rainwater Harvesting help provide this? We provide uh, design, sales, and installation of rainwater harvesting products uh, for residential all the way up to commercial, industrial, agricultural, uh, anybody that has a need for fresh water supply. Okay, now what kind of services does Cape Fear Rainwater provide? Cape Fear Rainwater provides nationally accredited design and installation services products for the do-it-yourselfer or for the other type of general contractor mm -hmm. to design, install these systems. Okay, now Brendan, tell me a little bit about what the benefits of rainwater harvesting are. Well, one, it's an alternative water source. Uh, you can save money on your water bills by not using potable water for um, non-potable uses, and it's also used as a stormwater best management practice to reduce contamination in our waterways. Okay, now Rick, you can help everybody from a small individual company to a large corporation. How do you do that? How do you do that? They would contact us if they saw a need or to explore the alternatives of, of how much water they would, they would use. We'd first consider what their uses are and how it could benefit them to capture the rainwater. We're blessed in southeastern North Carolina to get an abundant amount of rainfall per year and, and our rainfall pretty much averages steady throughout the year, month to month, of 58 inches a year. Okay. Your average home can collect up to a thousand gallons of rainwater per one inch of rainfall. So for your average homeowner, for example, that's upwards of 60,000 gallons per year that they could utilize for irrigation or exterior uses. Great. Now what does the Cape Fear Entrepreneur Award mean to you all? Recognition. Uh, Rick and I have, have worked very hard over the over the past couple, two or three years um, to build a brand um, that's really um, reputable, and uh, this honor uh, is fantastic to us. And so also, grateful. excuse me, to also to educate the public that this source is available, and it's actually back to the future. Mm -hmm. um, collecting rainwater, this country was built on it. Great. To find out more, log on to cfgreensolutions.com. It's ironic that Cape Fear Rainwater Harvesting is the winner in the emerging business category since, as uh, Rick said, they've just, they're just bringing technology to a system that's been in existence for thousands of years. Accumulating and storing rainwater for reuse is something that the ancient Egyptians and Romans did, and this has continued through time, especially in cultures where water is scarce. And as Rick said, we're back to the future. Um, Water, is a, uh, water conservation is a huge issue, as a, as a huge global issue. And one of the things I found out in doing my research is that 99% of the treated water that we use in our, our home, we don't consume. It's used for lawns, it's used for bathing, it's used for doing laundry. Um, and the idea of simply collecting rainwater from your roof and reusing it makes a lot of sense. The exciting thing about this business is not only the residential application, which was discussed here, but the commercial application. Uh, if you think your water bill is high, think about how many toilets are in GE or how much laundry that's done in New Hanover Medical Center um, how, and how big their roofs are, how much water they must be producing. So this is an amazing opportunity uh, in, this, in, this, in this emerging industry. And with that, I'd like to welcome uh, Cape Fair Rainwater Harvesting to the stage as the winner of the emerging industry category. <laughs> Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, it's certainly an honor to be here and be recognized. And we would like to, uh, the management and staff, Brendan Berry and Alexis Price, uh, congratulate all the other award winners here today. Uh, it's, an honor, we're, it's an honor to be in such company. Uh, I'd like to thank the Cameron School of Business, uh, the Cape Fear uh, Greater Wilmington Business Journal for their participating and participating sponsors, as well as the judges for all the time and effort they put in. To my wife, Lynn, for her 
tolerance and patience through my ups and downs, and I know, Don, you were there for Brendan as well. Our goal was to be positioned and at the fore, locally and regionally, for the inevitable growth in this industry. Um, we've grown the business the past two years to date through the growing residential retrofit market for people who want to upgrade their properties, get more energy efficient, and more sustainable. Um, we've also done several large institutional and educational uh, systems, um, as well as some municipal. The trend we see moving forward is the large construction projects at the military bases, where they're including um, cisterns and rainwater harvesting, all the way from dog kennels to dormitories. So um, it's an emerging practice. Uh, we're proud to be a part of it, something that's economical, sustainable, simple, and um, confident that we'll, it will become the, the rule instead of the exception. Thank you.